On Wednesday evening, 27,000 people gathered in and around Washington Square Park in New York City for a Bernie Sanders rally. When we stand together, black and white and Latino and Asian American and Native American, there is nothing we cannot accomplish. The rally took place just days before the New York primary, where polls show Sanders trailing behind Hillary Clinton, despite seizing 18 percentage points from Clinton in just one month. Whereas the polling data aggregator Real Clear Politics showed 30 percent support for Sanders versus Clinton's 63 percent support in mid-March, those numbers have shifted to 39 percent for Sanders and 53 percent for Clinton. 47 years ago, the gay community said, that in this country, right over here in the Stonewall Inn, that in this country, people will have the right to love each other no matter what their gender is. The rally coincided with a major endorsement for Sanders from the New York Transit Workers Union, which represents close to 40,000 members and 25,000 retirees. Earlier on Wednesday, Sanders also joined a Verizon picket line to show support for employees who are in a contract dispute with America's largest telecommunications company. They want to outsource decent paying jobs. They want to give their CEO $20 million a year in compensation. Meanwhile, Clinton held a rally in the Bronx at Co-op City the 1970s cooperative housing development that's home to immigrants from all over the world. I am so proud at what's happening here in the Bronx, but it can be even better if we work together and if you have a president in the White House who actually knows where Co-op City is. A recent Emerson poll shows Sanders having gained 23% more support from Hispanics in New York since the last poll figures and 6% with African Americans. With the two candidates squaring off in a debate Thursday night in Brooklyn, New York, this could represent Sanders' last chance to close the gap in polls between himself and Hillary Clinton.